Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday to you. Another week has gone by and we made it. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys today about Jo Malone, one of my favorite fragrances ever. Um, I've done a video for you guys before on one of my favorite fragrances by Jo Malone, which is the Vanilla and the Nice. Oh my God, amazing. But before we get into Jo Malone in general, I just wanna welcome you back to my channel. I post a new video here every Friday morning for you. So if you guys wouldn't mind, please subscribing, liking, hitting the bell. That just lets me know that you guys like this content. And when you hit the bell, that alerts you to when my next video is up and live, which like I said, is on every Friday. So. I like to talk about beauty and products that I love and give you guys my honest opinion on things and I really hope that you value and respect what I have to say. I don't like everything and I don't just do reviews on things just because I try out the product and I use it for a while before I decide that I want to talk about it. So without further ado, let's talk about Jo Malone. Okay, look at this gorgeous bag. This was a present to myself. Um, jo Malone is a British company and they um, pride themselves on, you know, delivering the perfect present, okay? If you got this bag, I mean, it's so simple and elegant and the logo, it's just beautiful and they wrap everything up with a bow and I'm just gonna unwrap it for you guys. Um, inside the bag, you will always have a box with your product i mean look at this gorgeous packaging okay let's take off this bow too now i treated myself to the nectarine blossom and honey cologne this is my third bottle of this over the years now this size is 3.4 ounces 100 milliliters lasts a long time and i like a lot of different types of perfumes but i've bought this scent three times <laughs> This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, and I like it because, you know, I like like a musky, vanilla-y, soft kind of scent usually. But the reason why I really, really like this scent is it's a little bit, it's very feminine, okay? It's a feminine scent. And I don't mean floral, because I'm not into floral scents. It's just feminine. Um, it's a little fruity from the nectarine. It has some peach and some cassis notes. Um, it does have a little bit of like a spring floral finish, but I wouldn't call it a floral perfume. If anything, I would call it fruity. Um, and it does kind of have a honey finish, so it's sweet, which is why I think I like it because I like vanilla. Um, this is honey. I don't know. You guys just have to smell it. And when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments, like a lot. People are kind of like, oh, you smell good. Like I kind of just like, you smell good. Everybody wants to smell good. And I find that almost everybody likes this scent. Like everybody. If you're to buy one scent that's not controversial, that you just think is going to smell pleasant and pretty and nice, and it's going to last you all day, Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This is a great scent. It's $142 for the 100 milliliter. And that's not a bad price. I mean, this is a ton of perfume, okay? This lasts a long time. So I'm a huge fan. That's what I bought myself. And you know, I felt so special when I treated myself to this. This was a Christmas present to myself and I just had it all, you know, I'm there at the store and they wrap it all up for me beautifully. They say, is this a gift? I said, no, and they still wrap it all up. They still deliver it in this beautiful bag, perfectly wrapped for me, even though I said it's not a gift. And then you know what else they always do at Jo Malone? I've used a lot, but they fill your bag with tons and tons of samples, which is so nice. I mean, I've been a Jo Malone customer for years and they still give you like tons of samples. I think I had three more. I've used them or I have actually one is in my work drawer at the salon, but um, they give you tons of samples and the customer service is great every single time. I usually go to Jo Malone at Nordstrom and I don't know, and I've ordered um, my next fragrance, which I'm going to talk to you guys about from Jo Malone Direct and 
I got the same experience with the packaging being flawless and beautiful and the little note and all the samples. And I really just appreciate that. I mean, it's not an inexpensive purchase and you know, they really value their customers and they want you to have an experience when you buy their product and they want you to feel special when you're opening a gift. And I appreciate that. I like that. I like packaging. I like the whole thing. Like if I have a really good smelling perfume and it's like, you know, thrown in a crappy bag and just thrown in whatever, it just doesn't feel as special. And when you're spending $142 on a bottle, you know, you want to feel special when you open it and you want to feel excited to wear it and that you're buying a luxury item because you are. Um, jo Malone was acquired by Estee Lauder in 1999. And for those of you who don't know, Estee Lauder like owns everybody. <laughs> um, and they're a great company supposedly. And you know, Joe Malone's quality, nothing has gone down when they got owned by Estee Lauder. In fact, it's probably gotten better. Um, so yeah, and Joe Malone, they're known for like all their products for the body, the home. Um, they're a luxury line. They do diffusers, they do bath and body wash, hand lotion, hand wash, perfumes. Oh, something that I should tell you guys, when I first started um, my experience with Jo Malone, I received a um, five pack traveler size assortment of all their like most popular colognes. And it was $115. I'll put the image here for you. And it was awesome because gosh I'm sorry you guys the light here let's turn this a little bit god I hope you weren't blinded that whole time um my bad the sun is like setting here <laughs> um it's five of their most important special fragrances for $115 and look at the generous size I mean how much is this 0.3 ounces so I only have two of the five left um, wood, sage and sea salt and lime leaf and mandarin. So these two are left because they weren't my favorite. The other ones I've used. So these are just kind of hanging out here. I've tried them. It's not my favorite. So, but my favorite, you guys, and I've talked about this before, is the vanilla and anise cologne. So this was, um, one of their best sellers for like a really long time, like a really long time. And then they just continued it. And I was like horrified and like so sad and upset. And then I saw like two years later that they released it on jomalone.com under the archive collection. And I bought two bottles because <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's back. And I just like, I can't not have it. So I bought two bottles. This is, you know, the other one is over there on even, not even opened, but I can't not have this scent. Oh my God. First of all, it's a little spicy, um, but it is a modern take on vanilla. I told you guys I like vanilla. It's a modern vanilla. It doesn't smell like, um, like vanilla from Bath and Body Works, like sugary and sweet. It's modern. It's a little musky, um, oaky, and a little bit like, um, caramel but like a sophisticated caramel, almost like a toffee-ish. Um, but the good news is you guys, the scent is on the sexier side, I would say, cause it has that like modern, like musky, like licorice-y, that's the anise flavor to the vanilla. And it is available on jomalone.com. It's not on the archive collection right now. It is available to purchase, same thing, $142 for the 3.4, um, ounce or 100 milliliter bottle and this is available and I am so excited about this and you guys I loved this scent for so long if you have any questions about it I'm super passionate about this bottle let me know below in the comments I will answer for you but this is no questions asked probably my favorite scent from Jo Malone I mean I literally was so upset when I couldn't find it anywhere I was searching eBay <laughs> And then when I saw it came back in the archive collection, I was psyched. So now I checked before doing this video. It is available at jomalone.com. Um, this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. It is sophisticated. It is vanilla. It is interesting. It's complex. Um, people will ask you what you're wearing when you wear this, and it's because they like the smell. Trust me. So, um, yeah. Oh, one more thing. With Jo Malone, you can add engraving to your labels. 
It's so special. So I just like that they pay attention to the details. I'm a fan of Jo Malone. I like the packaging and I like the product. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm so sorry for blinding you earlier with the light here. I'm going to have to like reset up. Um, and I apologize about that. But if you have any questions at all and, um, you know, you're interested in any of the other fragrances, let me know below. I'll do more videos on Jo Malone if you guys like or you want more. Um, or, you know, if you have any questions specifically about a scent, let me know. I will see you guys here next Friday. And I just want to mention that I am on Instagram. My name is Amanda J. May. I post a lot on stories. I share things on there. I'd love to see you over on that platform as well. And I'm also on Like to Know It. My name is Amanda May, and that's a shopping site. So I'm going to link all this stuff for you below. But if you guys want to go shopping with me and see my favorites, download Like to Know It. It is a free shopping app, and it is so much fun. I love it. I share all sorts of good stuff on there. So if you guys want to go shopping with me, download Like to Know It. Um, I will see you guys here next Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay well, stay healthy, and enjoy some Joe Malone. Bye.